What's up, guys? It's the BMD Burkmont Daily back again today, and uh, it's it's not been the longest break that I've taken from YouTube, but I've been taking a whole bunch of different short breaks um, uh, all the time between videos, um, whether it's one week or one month, and uh, I'm hoping at some point to uh, keep building stuff and get a whole bunch of uh, videos out, some uh, fun ones. Um, uh, after this one and then the next one, it might be a little bit. Uh, maybe a week or so until I get another video out but right here I have a new mock to show you guys and uh, hopefully I can remember everything that I included in this Hogwarts mock um, because it it has been a little while since I built this one but I really I thought uh, some people might want to see it so why not just make a video on it so let's get straight into this Hogwarts castle mock alright so this mock is uh, obviously micro scale um, and uh, because Hogwarts is so massive, building it in micro scale allows for uh, micro details. So I do have a few things inside um, some places where um, little micro figs or such could uh, walk around, um, but nothing uh, massive or anything. So I built this smock on a few different base plates. Um, now, if I was actually um, going to build maybe a display model for a convention or such, um, I would have probably just built more base plates out, uh, maybe added a Quidditch field or something like that, and then just filled uh, it in with some of those little round studs, um, those light blue translucent studs. But obviously I've not. It's just a standalone model right here. Um, and before I start this video, or the, get into this mock, I'd like to say that I've only seen the first two Harry Potter movies, so if stuff's in the wrong place, uh, feel free to correct me, but know that I am, I'm not quite qualified to, uh, to uh, complete this mock, I guess, um, or uh, add too much detail. But I, I tried to add some in where I could, but know that I've only seen the first two movies when you're uh, writing down your comments below. So, um, as you know, at least in the first movie, they uh, ride their little uh, boats up to the front of Hogwarts, and um, here is that little boathouse, then they go up the steps. Um, I believe on the real mock, or the real set, that this is supposed to be the uh, caretaker's hut. Um, obviously not exactly sure on any of these details. So, um, uh, the Grand Tower was one of the, uh, one of my favorite, uh, items that was included in this mock because I've used this, uh, uh, half round technique. I've used this before, um, where you kind of interlock, um, one by one bricks, uh, one by two bricks and, um, one by one cylinder bricks, I guess, um, to make this nice curved shape. And uh, with this one, I just made it 90 degrees, just a little bit. And in inside this portion, well, I guess I'll finish the outer details before going inside. So here's the astronomy tower. Um, don't know what that's for. I just saw it on the reference pictures that I used for this build, um, as well as this little porch. I added the overhang uh, just because I thought it might look cool, and I had that piece. So I was just just kind of using a few of my own. Uh, ideas in this build. As you can see on the mountains, um, after building this, I went over with some olive green pieces, some of the uh, dark tan um, plates around here, and a couple little tree builds. I wanted to do the same trees that they used in the original Hogwarts build, but I felt they might be too big for this uh, mock right here. So if you go to the back of this build, um, obviously it's meant to be displayed from the front, although there still are some of those um, burp or big ugly rock pieces in the back here to display a little bit of detail, but it is very flat along the back side of this build. So inside there is the great hall, a little bit of a dining set with a couple suggested minifigures in here. Um, these are just built to be students with one tan one by one and two tan one by um, one by one black pieces, or I guess I said tan for both of them, but one of them, or two of the pieces on there are black. 
Um, and then that's pretty much all the detail. I added a little stairwell here, and there is a little guy on the porch over here. Um, say, uh, name him whatever you would like to in the comments. Um, and uh, some uh, inspiration for this build, uh, I'd like to say before I end this video. I, uh, I built this in Minecraft, um, like a whole Hogwarts castle in Minecraft, and uh, that really gave me a lot of inspiration and I was able to look at some of the same reference photos so um, at some point maybe I'll start a gaming channel that's not really my place but I, I just wanted to point that out there uh, Minecraft if you don't have the bricks is a very useful tool for creating uh, reference materials so thanks for watching guys um, this is my Lego Microscale Hogwarts Castle mock and I'll see you in the next video this is BMD out.